G'day cocktail lovers and welcome to the Cocktail Dome! Where your old pal Chuck Harris and Archbishop bring you all the excitement of big league cocktail making. Thank you Arch, and today we're going to make Mai Tai Day with a special concoction from Mr. Angry. Oh, so you won't be doing a traditional Mai Tai? Well, while there is a published recipe, it's regarded as original by Tradevic, it's, look, it's pretty common for people to do their own tweaks. Oh, well, I find Mai Tais generally suffer from Forrest Gump Syndrome. How's that Arch? Life's like ordering a Mai Tai. You never know what you're going to get. Shrewdly put, Arch. Now, Mr. Angry, what are we going to see from you today? Thanks, guys. The original Mai Tai is essentially a daiquiri with a few tweaks, namely the addition of some orange liqueur and orgia. I am going to follow a lot of what Trader Vic set out in his recipe, but I am going to be taking a few creative liberties. Oh, why not? I mean, Mai Tai is a good template to make your own stamp on. Yeah, some people get overly fussy and they will fall in it with 10 or more ingredients. So I'm looking forward to this take. This is a shaking cocktail and first comes the rum. It's pretty common to blend rums in a Mai Tai and that is what I'll be doing. First up, I'm saying this is the newest rum I've bought. It's from the Bricks Distillery in Sydney. They've actually aged this in cask, it's their cask series, aged in stout barrels. So that's given it some really interesting flavours. A lot of very traditional rum flavors, but also even some chocolate, you know. Very interesting rum, and I'm going to add one ounce or 30 mils to our shaker. A bit of creative license now, technically not rum. This is a banana rum liqueur I made uh, with the original cane spirit, which is very high proof, over 75% alcohol. So even diluted as a liqueur, it's still over 40%. But it is sweetened, flavoured with banana. I'm going to put one ounce or 30 mils of my banana rum liqueur in. There is traditionally orange curacao or triple sec in a Mai Tai, and to that end, I'm going to add this one, another fairly recent purchase of mine. This is from a more local to Melbourne rum distillery called Killy. It's a triple sec they call their Tiki Zest, and I thought that was particularly fitting, and we'll be adding half an ounce, 15 mils to the shaker. Next comes the lime juice, and we'll be adding three quarters of an ounce, which is around 22 and a half mils, right into the shaker. Another little twist I'm doing is with the sweetener. Uh, orja is commonly used in a Mai Tai. That's a nut-based sweetener. Here's something a little different, a barrel-aged macadamia liqueur from the Cape Byron Distillery, just known as Mac, and honestly, this is fantastic, and I think it'll add some great flavors to Mai Tai. I'm going to put in half an ounce, 15 mils of the macadamia liqueur. As a final touch, I'm adding a bar spoon, which is around five mils of maraschino cherry syrup to our shaker. That's all the ingredients, so we add ice to the shaker, put it together, bang it in hard, Give that a good solid shake, 15 or 20 seconds. Then we strain that into a rocks glass, traditionally over crushed ice. Ugh, this is a good opportunity to get out some frustrations. It's bashing some ice in a Lewis bag with a mallet. Or you could wrap the ice in a clean tea towel and bash it with a I rolling mean, I find it works best if you shout the name of your mortal enemy with each hit. Well, it's certainly an opportunity for some creative visualizations. These are all things you could do. Now, for a garnish, people often use the whole of the spent lime they got the juice from. I don't have that because I was using super juice, but I'm going to make a pretty little bit of mint and a maraschino cherry. And here you have our house Mai Tai. Ooh, that certainly does look nice. Mm, tastes great too. I mean, not too big a departure from a traditional Mai Tai, but those few tweaks really give it an interesting bit of individuality. Yeah, you should never be shy about adding your own touch to a classic template. Is your own touch? That's right, Arch, because as we always say, life's too short to waste time on boring cocktails. Cheers. Cheers.